on my way to do Pilates. I haven't done Pilates at my gym yet, but I'm really excited. And also slightly nervous because I feel like Pilates is definitely like the thing that I am worst at. I just finished packing, I'm pretty sure for the most part. I have a lot of bags. I'm bringing the stuffle bag, which is pretty much empty. All it has is my podcast microphone, just in case I need to bring anything else from home to New York. I'd rather be safe and like bring a bag because I'm actually checking my suitcase. So this is being checked. And then if I need to bring anything, I can bring it in here because all I have is my podcast equipment. And then I have like my laptop and my iPad and stuff like that in my backpack. If I'll put like my purse in here so I only have the two carry-ons, you know? But I think I have pretty much everything that I need. Um, I'm excited to go home. I haven't been home in forever. I am also, lucky me, getting my period next week. So I keep like all of my toiletries in here. Um, this is the toiletry bucket or bucket, whatever, basket, basket's the right word. So I have so many unopened like PR package stuff up here so anytime i have like a chance to get rid of it i do and i always give it to my friends also i did want to say thank you so much to lola for sponsoring today's video you guys know i like working with lola and i literally only use lola tampons now they have me stocked and also it's nice because they just come to my house every single month or they come to my apartment every single month and i seriously love these tampons excuse my nails you guys they're they're really bad. Um, but anyways, what I love about them is that they are 100% organic cotton tampons. They're 100% organic cotton tampons, which is amazing because the FDA does not force people or force like tampon companies to share the ingredients in their tampons, which to me is pretty concerning because the FDA does implement like other people and other companies i should say other companies to enforce what's in their product and the fact that a tampon is literally going inside of us and we do not know what is in it a lot of companies might use like synthetic fibers or chemicals that you just don't want in there and lola tampons are 100 percent cotton organic cotton tampons which i like how transparent they are and not only that but they actually give if you buy one box of tampons they give another box to a homeless shelter a women's homeless shelter i feel like i'm one of those people that i take my feminine products for granted like i'm just like oh i need a tampon like oh okay i'm just gonna go out and buy one like or buy a box whatever and some women do not have the means to buy feminine products they don't have the money and resources to buy feminine products it's just one of those things that's really sad because we all get periods and it's really really unfortunate that some people don't have that ability so i really love that they actually do good with their sales and with their mission so not only are they super transparent but they do give one to a homeless shelter which i think is amazing but yeah they just got delivered straight to your door it's a subscription service you can cancel at any time and you can also customize it so for example i this is my box i'll show you guys so i got a mix of like the light ones and then the regular ones and the super ones but if you wanted you don't have to get like this exact mix you could get a lot of more lights if you want or more regulars or you can just like ditch the super plus tampons if you want i like kind of having a healthy mix of everything because i don't know about you guys but my period starts out like really heavy and then it like lightens up as the week goes on so that's why i always just get a mix of a box but you guys can change it up however you want and the packaging i think is really really cute and if you guys want 30 percent off your first subscription or your first box then you guys can use my code at checkout i'm also going to have the link down below but thank you so much for lola for sponsoring today's video i love working with you guys and i just think that their company is actually like doing good in the world which i am very proud to support so i will be putting one of these in my duffel bag because literally having your period on vacation is probably the worst thing ever and i always seem to get it so i need to stop traveling every four weeks <laughs> a lot of you guys always ask me how i make my coffee i'm gonna have my coffee machine and the milk frother linked in my amazon store because they actually come together and it's only 140 dollars and it has saved me so much money with coffee so it makes espresso 
so that's just like two espresso shots i think i think it's two i actually don't know the exact measurement i always just do like the big cup um but it makes that and then i use the milk frother and i froth my milk i always use oat milk pernea actually got ripple which we don't have oat milk anymore so she got this like vanilla plant-based milk and i've heard good and bad things about this if you guys have tried this let me know but i tried hers and it tasted really really good like it literally tastes like normal milk not it doesn't taste like oat milk but it tastes like normal just like dairy milk and i really really liked it this is another really great alternative because i like using plant-based milks instead of dairy let me know if you guys like this one but yeah you guys ask me all the time and the milk frother is what makes it look so good like i'll show you guys once i pour it it's just amazing i never want to live without my nespresso like i've had this since junior year of college and it's still the same exact machine and this is just the tiny one that's only 140 bucks and it works so well and it does the job and it saves me so much money okay guys that's the froth normally i do oat milk so it might look different than normal but like call me a barista that literally looks like i got it at starbucks I had to stop by and get a breakfast wrap before i left so i just got this one um just some like mexican wrap not much explaining he was like oh hope you're hungry it's gonna be really big so i'm gonna eat half and then eat the other half on the plane back home i just made it first stop of course is chick-fil-a i know that there is chick-fil-a in new york city but it's just not the same as it is in the south so i actually never get salads at chick-fil-a but for some reason this just looked so good on the menu so i decided to try it and i got the avocado lime ranch the vanilla coffee because it's so good and then a medium fry you know because we're being healthy in my room oh my gosh i don't remember my bed being this squishy okay guys it's gonna get a little real in a second so right now i am about to get on a call i am getting on a call with my management and also a potential network i'm not quite sure what exactly um we're gonna talk about but i'm excited to jump on the call and like get to know the other people so that's what i'm doing right now i'm so out of breath from running up the stairs to get my camera um and then i after that call i am going to explain why i'm very stressed and why it's kind of like all hitting me at once but it's all good it's okay nothing nothing bad it's all like good stress at the end of the day but just a little stress and i hate i hate that feeling of like oh my gosh like what do i do so yeah but also being at home it's like so hard to vlog it's just so different i feel like i never really vlogged at home like when i started vlogging i was in college so just vlogging at home feels weird and vlogging with my family feels weird because i normally don't do it but i'm gonna have to do it because i am vlogging my thanksgiving break i'm about to hop on the call and then i will talk to you guys later just got off my call and it went really well but i guess i just want to talk about i don't even want to talk about this i feel annoying like saying that i'm stressed because i literally have like the greatest job in the world but december if you guys don't know is the holiday season duh which means that um companies have higher budgets so a lot of companies do a lot of sponsorships they do a lot of brand deals um there's a lot more events going on because holiday budgets are always more because of the holidays and also because it's the end of the year um so anything like left over in the marketing budget is used in december so the budgets are just like so high and there's just a lot of sponsorships and there's also a lot of events and like different things to be going to and doing and it's a lot of fun and it's amazing but a lot of times i say yes to every amazing opportunity that comes my way and i need to start saying no because i don't have like the bandwidth to do it i don't have the capacity i don't have the time and i don't want to stress myself out so i have like so many podcast that i have to record the first two weeks of december i'm also doing everything the first two weeks of december because i'm leaving for the holidays obviously like the last half of the month i think i'm going home on the 18th so i guess the first three weeks of december i'm doing things but it feels like the only i feel like i'm booking everything the first two weeks i'm going on a bunch of different podcasts i'm having people coming into town to be on my podcast and they're like happen to be in town because everyone's in new york to seek the christmas lights so they're in town so i have to record with them and then also there's like a bunch of events and events that like are inviting me as more of a guest rather than just like a random event to go to and then there's also cooler events that i like want to attend which is my own 
my own thing like i don't have to go at the end of the day if i don't want to and then there's also a lot more like consultations which is amazing and that's like the thing that i'm actually excited about i'm not complaining about that at all like if you guys want to book me please go ahead and do it now because they are filling up in december um like already they're filling up in december which is just crazy to me and it's such a blessing and it's such a good thing like that is actually like really good i'm not complaining about that at all and then also just like videos being due and concepts being due and posts being due and things like that that I just like didn't realize how much I said yes for because I've been saying I've been getting these coming in like maybe the past two months and then now they're all here and like everything is due and I'm just like oh my gosh wait I have to do all of that in such a short amount of time and yet I'm still trying to like enjoy the holidays with my family because I haven't seen my family since I moved here in September which is crazy it's like the longest I've gone without seeing my family I think but yeah, so it's just one of those things where um, it's taking a lot out of me, but I'm very happy because it's the best job in the world, and that means opportunity is coming my way. So I'm not complaining at all. I'm just, like, telling you guys how I feel um, in the sense of, like, it's not a bad thing. Like, I'm not sad. I'm just a little stressed, but stressed, being stressed isn't necessarily a bad thing all the time, if you guys understand what I'm saying. So anyways, I just wanted to share with you guys because I always share my life with you, and that is how I'm feeling, but I am very, very, very very grateful and happy and if you guys are stressed about anything like finals like i remember this time in college it's just the worst finals week oh my gosh i don't miss college that's horrible so let me know how you guys are doing and <laughs> how how you guys are feeling but i'm excited for vlogmas i'm excited oh that's another thing vlogmas i'm gonna have to film and edit a video every single day which is gonna be great and exciting but it's just another thing like that i have to do but it's fine it's all good everything's good <laughs> Luigi and baby. I've been reading books on my iPad lately, so I bought this book, Talking to Strangers. I'll show you guys the cover. You guys have for sure seen it. Uh, let me go back. Okay, how do I see the cover? <laughs> yeah, this is the cover. Uh, I'm really excited to finish this book. So far, I think it's a decent book there's some chapters i really really like and some chapters i cannot get into let me know if you guys have read this if you guys feel the same exact way because some chapters i'm so bored and i'm just like can this chapter finish and then other ones i'm very very into them because they're all kind of different so thoughts let me know if you agree but it's a very popular book and i am currently on chapter seven which is a short explanation of the amanda knox case and i'm very interested in this because i always love like true crime and stuff like that so i'm interested in their take on the amanda knox case the reason why i like also ipad like reading on my ipad is because i don't have to have a pen to underline because i'm one of those people that i really like annotating in my books like i have books that i have like so many things underlined so this one is really just easy to highlight and have and like look back on i think i do still like the physical copy better but i'm trying to start reading on my ipad more because it is cheaper and um it's just like the highlighting i love it i love annotating in my books and it's so easy to annotate when it's on an ipad only bad thing is that you have to charge it like that's annoying like oh my gosh my book is dead you know what i'm doing right now is actually making my to-do list for today and tomorrow this says oh my computer keeps shutting off and i don't know why it's doing that anyways I was just saying I'm making my to-do list for today and tomorrow. I'm going to try to get some stuff done. I do need to edit a video today and then I need to edit a video tomorrow. I have a client tomorrow. I also am speaking at an elementary school tomorrow, which I think is, or not elementary school, a middle school. So sorry. I'm speaking at a middle school tomorrow because my best friend is a middle school teacher and wants me to speak to her class and I'm so excited and I'm so nervous. Why am I so nervous to talk to like a bunch of 13 year olds? I don't know, but I think it's gonna be really cool. So I'm going there to speak and if you guys haven't heard her podcast episode, I did interview her. So if you guys are thinking of becoming a teacher, you guys can listen to her podcast episode. But I'm going to be vlogging tomorrow. So you guys can totally be sure to subscribe so you guys can keep up with my vlogs. I'm also doing Vlogmas. But right now, I am going to end the vlog because I am just going to be importing some footage and then editing it and uploading and i have a bunch of stuff i need to do before the night ends and it literally feels like it's like 10 o'clock like I'm, I'm like i should be going to bed and it's only 8 30 so i still have plenty of time to do work but it's crazy that it like feels so late because it got dark so early here that is it and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did be sure to subscribe and thumbs up if you guys like it and also just subscribe because i am going to be doing vlogmas and i'm so excited and if you guys just want daily vlogs let me know or if you want me to like sprinkle in some other types of videos in there too let me know but i love you guys thank you again for lola for sponsoring today's video and if you guys want a coupon obviously click the link down below and use my promo code but thank you so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys